Friends, today we're sharing five unique and sweet and a bit eclectic coffee recipes, and I'm so excited about them. These are some of my favorite coffee recipes to date. I love that they're a little different and kind of off the beaten path, but best of all, they're just so delicious. So I really hope you enjoy them. So we have a peanut butter cold brew, which is one of my favorites, and then a cinnamon crunch latte, as well as a honey nut latte, a cookie crunch coffee, and last but not least, we have a frozen banana coffee, which may sound a little wild, and it is different, but it is so refreshing. I recently had it at the beach, and I was like, wow, we have to recreate this at home because it's especially perfect for kind of sprucing up your coffee routine with the warmer months approaching. So without further ado, I really hope you enjoy this video and these recipes, and let's get right into the first one. If I had to pick a favorite out of these five recipes, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Latte would definitely be number one. For this recipe, you'll need your preferred milk of choice. I love this Chobani O Extra Creamy. Some Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal, espresso or strongly brewed coffee, cinnamon, and brown sugar. The first trick to making this latte so delicious is pouring yourself a nice bowl of your cereal and then pouring your milk over that and letting it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. In the meantime, while that was sitting, I poured some brown sugar and some cinnamon in my espresso cup so that the sugar and cinnamon flavors would infuse into the espresso as it's brewing. Now it's time to pour out our cereal milk into our cup. So I took a strainer and simply poured the bowl over the cup, which made it really simple and made for easy cleanup. So keep in mind, this will take a bit longer if you do decide to go all out and make the cereal milk, but I believe it makes such a huge difference so that you have those sweet cinnamon and sugar flavors all throughout the drink. Once your espresso or strongly brewed coffee is all brewed, you're gonna pour that over your cereal milk. And then top it with some extra cinnamon toast cereal for an additional treat. cold brew is inspired by one of my favorite places to get a sweet treat, Gideon's Bakehouse. It is so yummy. So for this recipe, you'll need some cold brew, oat milk or whatever milk you prefer, sugar, I love using cane sugar, vanilla, creamy peanut butter, cacao powder, and sea salt. You'll also need to pull out a blender to really get that frothy, creamy texture and to really help you mix in that thicker peanut butter. So first you're gonna pour in your milk and then your cold brew. And you're gonna add in a heaping tablespoon of the creamy peanut butter. I also like to add a splash of vanilla for some additional sweetness, a pinch of sea salt to really enhance that nutty flavor, some sugar to sweeten it up a bit more, and then you're simply gonna blend it all together. I let it blend for about a minute, but you'll be able to tell once your peanut butter is fully mixed into the milk and coffee mixture. Since the ingredients are already chilled, you can decide if you want ice or not, but I love having some crushed ice and you simply pour your peanut butter cold brew over it. And then I topped it with some cacao powder for an extra little touch. Honey Nut Latte, we're gonna need some Honey Nut Cereal, 
some oat milk, an espresso shot, a splash of vanilla, and of course, honey. So like we did with our cinnamon toast crunch latte, we're also gonna create that cereal milk with the honey nut cereals as well. So go ahead and pour yourself a nice bowl of the cereal and then top it with your milk of choice. To really enhance that honey flavor, I also sprinkled some honey over the cereal. And a splash of vanilla extract as well. So again, you're gonna let that sit for about 15, 20 minutes, and then I brewed my espresso in the meantime. But before I brewed it, I also added a bit of honey to the bottom of my espresso glass. So again, it could really infuse and incorporate that honey flavor throughout the drink. And then once my cereal milk appeared to be thriving, I drained it into my cup, brewed my espresso, and poured it over for a beautiful treat. chocolate lover, this cookie crunch coffee is so delicious. For this drink, you're gonna want some iced coffee or you could use cold brew if you wish, some cookie crisp cereal, some heavy whipping cream, cacao or cocoa powder. So first you're gonna take a teaspoon of cacao powder and add it in a small glass and then you're gonna top it with some whipping cream. And then I also added a spoonful of cereal and I'm gonna let that sit for again, about 15 minutes so the flavors can all sort of soak up. And you can use a spoon to crush the cereal a bit so that it can have a smoother time soaking in. And once you gave that time to soak, you're gonna wanna drain that into your cup. And I used a handheld frother to froth this a bit. And this is what we're gonna use to top the coffee. So you can really make this as thick as you want. If you want it to be more of a whipped cream, you can really froth it on up. But if you want it to be a bit more liquidy, you can just do a little bit less frothing and then you'll have less of a solid texture. So it's really whatever your preference is. I think both taste absolutely delicious. So then you're gonna pour in your coffee and this is a great recipe where you can use leftover morning coffee if that tends to be something that you have on hand. You can easily add that into the drink instead of buying store-bought or cold brew. So that makes it easy on you. And then once it's poured into your glass, you're gonna top it with your cocoa foam. And then of course, we're gonna garnish with that cookie crisp cereal. And now you have this chocolatey coffee with a bit of cookies and cream flair. frozen banana cold brew, which is quite unique. But once I had this by the ocean a couple weeks ago, I knew I wanted to recreate it, especially with summer coming up. For this drink, you're gonna want to pull out some iced coffee or cold brew, some coconut milk or milk of choice, vanilla extract, frozen bananas, and some honey. We're also gonna need a blender again, so you're gonna go ahead and pour the coffee into the blender along with the frozen bananas and all of the remaining ingredients. Once 
everything is in the blender, blend it all up until smooth and there's no more chunks of bananas. And this is quite simple. After it's all blended and creamy, you pour it in your cup and enjoy. I also like to garnish with a little banana. And this is a great recipe that you can really customize because if you want it to be sweeter, you could add some coconut cream instead of coconut milk. You could add some sugar or some additional honey to add more sweetness. Or if you want it to be more on the streamlined, more simple side, you can just do coffee and bananas. And it's definitely a unique pairing that won't be for everybody but again I thought it was really tasty such a unique take on your standard iced coffee I really hope you enjoyed these recipes let me know if you end up recreating them and which one is your favorite but as always, I'll have all of the measurements and ingredients and directions written out in the description as well as on my website. So hopefully that's helpful, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I cannot wait to see you.